What's going on guys, Twin coming after with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we're going to be opening my 7th inning final boss diamond program choice pack, whatever you want to call it. So be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you guys are new on the road to 40,000 subscribers. In the comment section below, let me know if you guys have finished this or are going to finish it. Or even if you don't even play this game, let me know who you would choose in this pack or who you did choose in this pack. Feel free to follow on any of the social media, sub to that second channel, Fortnite channel in the description. Thank you so much to our channel members for the extra support. And then after we open this pack, we're going to go ahead and play a game or two with the team that we drafted yesterday that includes 99 Chipper Jones. So let's just go ahead, open this pack, and I'll show you guys the stats for each player and then give my reasoning behind why I might or might not take each one and then make my final decision. So real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats of the players. We have Jeff Bagwell. 99 overall first baseman bats and throws right-handed has diamond hitting and silver defense 109 and 125 for the contact 106 and 108 for the power 101 for the vision and then his fielding pretty solid fielding rating he doesn't have a great arm but you don't really need one at first base and then his reaction is not super high but it's also not super low and then along with 64 speed so honestly not a bad card at all then we can go ahead and look at tom Seaver, starting pitcher throws righty has a four seam sinker slider 12 6 curve and a change up that four seam gets up to 96 miles an hour the curve goes all the way down to 72 123 for the stamina this guy if you can pitch well with him not allowed too many runs or hits like that then you can bring this guy late into a ball game he will not get tired continue to throw well 98 for the hits per nine 104 for the strikeouts per nine 86 velo 94 break and then 90 control which makes me pretty excited to see and i would love to try this card out in my rotation and then finally we have andre dawson 99 overall plays all the outfield positions diamond hitting as well as diamond defense 101 and 112 for the contact 92 and 100 for the power along with 113 vision an amazing hitting card then go ahead and look at his defense 93 fielding 97 arm strength 89 arm accuracy 86 reaction along with 87 speed this card's fast he has a great arm he's got great reaction great fielder and an amazing hitter this card is phenomenal now if we're thinking in terms of my current diamond dynasty team okay first base jeff bagwell i already have 99 frank thomas who is my current starter he's literally been my best hitter throughout the entire year of her ranked season so it's kind of like do I really want to replace Frank Thomas? We also have Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig sitting on our bench, and I love Lou Gehrig. He's a great card for me, so this kind of makes me not want to take Jeff Bagwell. Next, we have Tom Seaver, a 99 overall starting pitcher. Has a great pitch selection, throws hard, has good control, a lot of stamina, great per nines. And this is a position that I've been struggling to find guys who I like, right? I'm always looking for new starting pitchers. Nolan Ryan was struggling for me. Verlander was. Bob Gibson was. Wayno did for a bit. Mad Bum struggled as well. This has just been a position that has been super hard for me to fill and have guys that I can consistently do well with. So Tom Seaver right now is looking really good. And then finally, we have Andre Dawson in the outfield, plays all the spots, which most outfielders do. You know, I feel like that's not necessarily a given, but it's pretty common for the signature series outfielders to play all of the spots he plays right field that's his primary and my current outfield is willie mays ken griffey jr tony gwynn tony gwynn i would say has been my second best hitter the entire year out in right field so i don't really want to replace him we got griffey we have mays both of them are phenomenal we also have ty cobb on the bench duke snyder ricky henderson like we have all these good outfielders and there's more outfielders that we could get as well uh one that comes to mind is the signature series jim Edmonds, just off the top of my head and I just feel like there's so many good outfield cards that I just, I don't feel like Andre Dawson would necessarily be a great addition. I'm sure he would be a good card. I want to try him out eventually. But for right now with this pack, I'm thinking Tom Seaver's the move. I feel like I will get, I don't want to say the most use out of him because both of these guys, if I started him, they would play every single game. But Tom Seaver would be, I think, the smartest choice for me. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on that decision based on my team down in that comment section we're choosing tom seaver i'm gonna add oh i almost sold him i'm gonna add him to the rotation and i think for now i'm gonna replace one marishal that's gonna be the guy i'm replacing for now my rotation could obviously use a little bit of work i might move things around if you guys want to see my current team who we're rocking with this is my lineup this is my bench i'm thinking about putting ty cobb on the bench or starting him for a game before i sell him if that's what i want to do 
and then my rotation. These are the guys that I have available. I kind of suck with all three of these, and I don't necessarily want to use a low overall if I don't have to. But again, we have Oral Hershiser in the rotation, so I'm not really sure. But that's what I'm rocking with right now. And I'm excited to try out Tom Seaver, see how he does for me. My bad if it took me super long to get to that decision. I just wanted to go over my reasoning why I would or wouldn't want to take each card and kind of make sure you guys are aware of why I'm taking the card that I did and then give my thoughts. So if you guys are providing feedback, input in the comment section, you might be able to like take that into account if you're gonna give me a suggestion something like that but sorry it took so long this is the team that we're rocking with again we have 99 chipper i'm tempted to lead him off instead of ben zobers but at the same time it's like ben zobers is gonna probably do better against a common thing like it's hard to explain why but i feel like chipper jones can destroy any card i feel like ben zobers is gonna have a tougher time if my opponent brings in like a better reliever so hopefully that makes sense i'm gonna uh definitely be looking in the draft video because it hasn't gone up yet at the time of recording this i'm definitely going to be looking at the comments on that one seeing if anyone has any changes they want me to make to the lineup but this is the team this is the bullpen we're gonna go ahead try to stay undefeated get one number two we're playing minnesota full send our opponent has 82 philip Irvin, 95 charlie blackman 99 william mccovey 87 miggy 83 alan trammell 81 gerardo parr 79 joe torrey keston hira 79 tanner roark on the mound is silver for Ben Zobers. We got Fernando Romero on the mound. We're the home team. Our opponent probably doesn't have an amazing bullpen based on that lineup. You never know. And I'm hoping we can win this game. Be 2-0. Oh. No! No, no, no. This, that's what I get for playing everybody in a mismatched positions and everything, man. That's what I get. But come on. That's a play that needs to be made. How hard was that hit? That didn't. That was hit 74 miles an hour off the bat. That is a play that I feel like any major leaguer should probably be making, even if it's not there. Even if it's not a secondary position, I feel like that's a a, a ball that should be uh, fielded cleanly. But oh well, we're gonna try to bounce back. 78 speed sitting on first base. Maybe David Price can induce a double play with Charlie Blackman coming up to bat. He's stealing Charlie Blackman. I'm disappointed in myself, guys. That was an 0-2 count. Hey, we got the runner. Yo! I am so stupid. And striking out Willie McCovey after four or five foul balls in a row, man. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to put him away. That's a big out number one. I'm real tempted to walk Miggy here. I think I might as well do it. Now there's a double play. Forrest play at any base. Two outs away from getting out of trouble. Allen Trammell up. Alan Trammell, let's go, lining out to the outfield. If he tries to go home, we got him. Oh, I think we still might have him. No, we don't have him, but that's a big out number two. One out away from getting out of trouble. Gerardo Parra up the middle, third to second. Come on, toss a second. Oh, man. My stomach just sank when I saw the throw meter disappear for a sec. Ben Zobrist, lead off, base hit, bottom of the first inning. Going to be a double, just like that. Go ahead, runs in scoring position. Cody Bellinger advances to runner. I don't think Charlie Blackman has a good enough arm to throw him out at third. One down, one runner in scoring position for number three hitter, Chris Iannetta. He's intensely walking Chris Iannetta to get to, okay, 99 Chipper Jones, 0 for 1 so far with the sacrifice fly, looking for his first base hit. And he gets that for, wow, that one was roped. Holy moly, why do I keep saying that, man? Uh, either way, oh my goodness, Chipper Jones roping that one into the outfield for an RBI double. Nico Goodrum coming up, he destroys righties. Two in scoring position, only one down here. Why did I swing at the first pitch? lining it out but i shouldn't have been swinging at that one man cj crone coming up cj crone not through the hole i decided to go home it's a wild throw and the run scores two rbis we extend our lead to three what an inning so far cole tucker falling for a base hit Two out rally going strong i think it's my number eight hitter i think we have one more guy than the pitcher spot i want to say we do I'm trying to remember who it might be. Kevin Pilar. Kevin Pilar into the outfield. Going to be caught for the final line of the inning. After one, it's 3-0. Let's try to get these last few outs here in the last few innings. 
with is david price yeah david price still on the mound i'm probably gonna leave him in until he gives up i would say a base hit here and our opponent has quit that's gonna be win number two we are now two and oh with this team we're playing Degu gucci gang our opponent has 99 pudge josh bell howie kendrick josh donaldson 89 brandon rogers michael conforto 96 adam jones jorge soler brad keller on the mound we got fernando romero on the mound away team trying to be three and oh with this current team and our opponent has quit i will 100 percent take that we're playing new market new e hawks our opponent has 99 roberto alomar 88 griffey eugenio suarez 95 matt carpenter fernando tatis jr schwarber gaddis trey mancini chris mazza on the mound we got Martin leader jr on the mound away team trying to get win number four with this team staying defeated ben zobrist leading off the game with a shot off the wall i'm glad i didn't start saying solo home run or something ben zobris nice little double to get our half of the first inning started with cody bellinger coming up cody bellinger advances the runner this is reminding me a little bit of the last game except i'm still mad at myself for swinging at that pitch because that's not one i should be swinging at chris ionetta coming up here chris ionetta driving in the run sacrifice fly on the warning track shot as we take a one to nothing lead, Chipper Jones is going to come up two down. Base is empty. Top of the first inning here. Looking for his second base. Sit on the team. I will love for his first home run right now. Chipper Jones, man. I'm chasing pitches that I should not be chasing. Driving me crazy. I shouldn't be doing that. Nothing happening at all in this game. That's a ground down. We're going to the bottom of the third inning. My opponent left in their common starting pitcher literally until one out in the third inning. And I somehow only scored one run. I think I only had hits in the first inning. I don't know how that happened. Uh, maybe it was just a bad day of the play for me today. But I definitely, if my opponent's leaving in their common starting pitcher that long, need to be scoring some more runs, getting some more hits. We have Rob Nen, our diamond reliever, on the mound. I have a no-hitter going, maybe a perfect game going. I'm not really sure. Having Gaddis leading off. We want to get these final three outs and be undefeated. Get win number four with this team. And that is the final. It should be the final out of the game. Yeah, that's the final out of the game. We are 4-0 oh with this team. one to nothing victory in this game. Only one hit, but it's enough to score the run. One-third of the way towards 12-0. Oh. I'm digging this team, and the bullpen's actually doing fine for me. And then the lineup, not great that game, but it's so far. I'm liking the lineup. I need to do a little bit better than I did in this game, though, if I want to continue further, get more wins. If y'all enjoyed the video, though, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on any of the social media. Sub that Fortnite channel in the description. I will see y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.